Okay. So look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. So you have a second order differential equation y prime prime minus 2y prime plus 4y equal to 0. Now we're saying that y prime prime is simply what there? The squared y by what there? The x squared. y prime is what? The y dx. We have to solve this particular differential equation. As usual, the first step would be put. Put y as equal to what there? Exponential mx. Always. Let's get y prime. For y prime, the tax is simple. Differentiate this. Right? If I differentiate the exponential mx, the simple concept is focus on the power here, mx. If I differentiate mx with respect to x, it gives you what there? m. The constant comes off. Use that m to multiply this. What do you have here? m exponential mx. Let's look at y prime prime. For y prime prime, I have to differentiate this term here. And to do that, and to do that, again, this is a constant. So let it go. Or just keep it pending for, for the meantime. Focus on this. Again, if to differentiate exponential mx, focus on the power, which is mx. Differentiate mx with respect to x, you have what there? m. Use m to multiply this. So m times m gives you what there? m squared exponential mx. You have this. That becomes your, your value there. All right, let's substitute. Substituting. Substituting. What do I have there? y prime prime, this one here, m squared exponential mx minus 2, so minus 2 into y prime, y prime is this, m exponential mx plus 4, so plus 4 into y, y is exponential mx, it's equal to Zero, I have this. Okay. Expand the bracket I have. M squared exponential mx. Then this minus 2m exponential mx plus 4 to this 4 exponential mx. It's equal to zero. Of course, next tax. Factorize exponential mx. So take this one off. You're not cancelling them. Please don't cancel them. Just factorize them. I'm just doing this so that you can see what is left. What is left here is m squared, this one here, minus 2m, this one here, plus 4. This into what there? Exponential mx is equal to 0. It's the next task. You now have a quadratic equation. Of course, for this case here, um, equal to 0, that becomes m squared minus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0. So you have this. Okay. Let's solve this. Now, this is a quadratic equation. Use calculator. Punch this value for me. You should have two answers. What's the value of m1? 1 plus root 3i, okay? What's the value of m2? 1 minus root 3i. So if you use calculator to punch this, this is a correct equation. You have these two as your roots. What do you observe here? It's now a what? Complex root. It's now a complex root. So when it's a complex root, what does the uh, linearly independent solution look like? From here, we we'll say the linearly, the linearly independent solution only be you have that the first you have is y one, y subscript one. We said is equal to now. Listen, listen, listen. I gave you this as, when I was teaching you this in our very first class on second order differential equation, I said A plus what there? Bi, right? And then A minus Bi. I gave you this in here. So here's the catch. Here's the catch. I said Y1 will be equal to what there? Exponential Ax cosine of what there? 
bx. In essence, when it comes to this, do not take the sign. Well, for the b part, for the a part, you can include sign. What am I saying? For the a part, compare this with this. What's a? Plus one. That's one there. So if I say exponential ax, it becomes what there? Exponential one times x. And that gives you what there? Exponential x. This becomes exponential. This becomes exponential. Sorry, excuse me. This becomes exponential x. It's supposed to be ax, but a is one. All right, so it becomes exponential x. That's it. All right? Exponential ax, but a here, for here a is one. That's this one here. This is your a. Okay, then cosine this cos bx. B is the value attached to i, which in this case is what there? Root 3 and what there? Root 3. So cos root 3x. This is for y1. And y2 is the same thing. Exponential ax. We've said a is simply this number here. Your real part, which is 1. So 1 times x gives you x. Then... After cos, you now use sine for the next one. Sine of bx, the same thing here. Root 3x, you have this. So this becomes, or oh, these are the linearly independent solution. Let's now get the general solution. The general solution. The general solution of the equation of the equation what do you have there? y of x is equal to c1 times the value of y1. What's y1 there? Exponential x cos root 3x plus c2 times the value of what there? y2, which is what there? Exponential x sine root 3x sine bx. So, well, this becomes the answer to the question. What you have here becomes the answer to the question. Alright, so that's your solution. So this is how you do, this is how you solve when you have complex roots. That's your answer, please. Any questions, please? Is that? Yeah, you're having plus and minus. I'm saying, what I said is, you're having plus and minus here. So the question is this, what would be the value of B? Will B be plus of this or minus of this? And I said, for the imaginary part, leave out the sign. Just take the number there, root 3. That's what I'm saying. What would the A parts be? The A parts here is what there? 1. Now, look at this all. It would have been different. Let's say M1 is equal to minus 2 plus 7i. And M2 is equal to minus 2 minus 7i. Please, in this case, what will A, what will A be? A will be minus 2. Observe that the sign attached to the real part is considered. Because the sign will always be there. Minus 2 minus 2, it will always be there. But for the B part, which is the imaginary sign, the imaginary part plus 7 minus 7, which do I take? 7. Let's take 7. So for this, we always take just root 3, not the plus, not the minus. But for the A part, you have to consider the B sign there. That's what I'm saying, please. All right, let's look at one that involves condition, and then, yeah, we're good. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.